Hello. Today we're going to talk about our pension plan and an important change that's coming up. The Northeast Carpenters Pension Funds have adopted a new Variable Pension Plan Design, or VPP for short, that will go into effect on January 1, 2022. We'll explain the change in this video. A Variable Pension Plan, VPP, is a type of pension plan where the amount of your benefit changes each year based on how the plan's investments do, similar to how your annuity account works. We'll explain how this works, but let's start with the basics. Right now, our plan is a defined benefit pension. It uses this formula to set the benefit you'll receive at retirement. Each year, 1% of the contribution rate gets multiplied by your hours of service during the year. That's your accrued monthly benefit. The fund's average pension contribution rate is $9.35 per hour. Your contribution rate is specified in your collective bargaining agreement. Today, we calculate this every year during your career and then add each year's accrual together. That's what you'll receive each month after you retire. For example, if you earned $100 for each year of a 30-year career, you'd receive $3,000 as your monthly pension benefit. This amount is fixed at retirement. Since the plan relies heavily on its investment returns to pay benefits, we get squeezed when the stock market goes down. Remember the 2008 market collapse and the recession that followed? The plan's funding status dropped from 94% to 65%. Our plan needs the flexibility to ride out the storm in bad times and increase benefits during good times. That's why we're changing to the VPP design. It uses the same formula we just explained, along with some new features. First things first, the benefit for current retirees and pension accruals earned through December 31, 2021 will not be affected and will not be subject to the VPP adjustment factor that we'll explain next. The benefit you earn through 2021 will be under the Legacy Pension Plan, or LPP. That's yours, and it won't change at all. Now, let's take a look at how the VPP works. Just like under the LPP, you will earn benefits each year at the rate of 1% of contributions. But going forward, the 1% will apply to benefit contributions, not total contributions. For most participants in the plan, your benefit contributions will be equal to 18% of wages, the same as your current contribution rate to the plan. Additional contributions may be allocated to the plan to keep the LPP benefits secure. These additional contributions will not count as benefit contributions. The VPP also applies an adjustment factor to your annual accrual. It's adjusted each year to reflect the plan's investment performance. We also have a break-even point, set at 5%, called a hurdle rate. If the fund's returns are greater than 5%, your VPP benefits increase. Our long-term investment strategy is designed to beat that rate, and if you look back, our past investment returns have done just that, beating 5% in 22 of the last 30 years. The adjustment factor is limited to 5%, so the most that benefits can increase in one year is 5%. If the fund's asset returns are below the 5% hurdle rate, the VPP benefit may go down. To make this clearer, let's look at an example. Let's say the plan's investments earn 8% in 2022. To calculate the adjustment factor, we divide 1 plus our asset value return by 1 plus the hurdle rate. Easy as pie. This is Randy, a participant in our plan. The current collective bargaining agreement calls for a contribution rate of $9.35 per hour. If Randy works 1,500 hours in 2022, he will earn $140.25 toward his monthly pension. If he works 1,700 hours in 2023, that adds another $158.95 to the monthly amount for a total of $299.20. Next, we multiply Randy's 2022 benefit amount by the adjustment factor to get a new amount of $144.26. Then, we add this to the $158.95 earned in 2023 to arrive at a VPP benefit of $303.21 a bit better than the $299.20 Randy would have had under the LPP. 
We'll go through the same process again in 2024 when Randy works 1,900 hours and the fund has a 4.5% return in 2023. Multiply the accrued VPP amount, $303.21, by a 0.9952 adjustment factor, and then add in the $177.65 Randy earned for 2024, and he now has a three-year VPP benefit of $479.40. Without the VPP, Randy would have accrued $476.85. The VPP also has something called a Stabilization Reserve Account. It's a rainy day fund that we can tap into when investment results are below the hurdle rate. When the fund has investment gains over 10.25% in a year, the excess gains go into the Stabilization Reserve Account. The Stabilization Reserve Account can shore up planned funding or protect against benefit decreases in years when our investment return is less than 5%. The trustees will make decisions about how and when to use the stabilization reserve account. We expect the investment returns to be strong enough to fund the account, but if there's not enough money in the rainy day fund, the trustees can't protect benefits from decreasing. Again, remember that the VPP is only for hours worked on and after January 1st, 2022. All benefits that you earn before then are your legacy benefit, and that won't change. Other provisions like early retirement and disability also remain unchanged and apply to your total benefit. So when you retire, your pension will have two parts, a legacy benefit that isn't adjusted, plus a variable benefit that is adjusted based on investment returns, while you're working and after you retire. Let's recap. The VPP has three big advantages. One, it offers potential for benefits to grow even after you retire. Two, it protects the plan against recessions. Three, it encourages new employers and apprentices to join the plan, which strengthens our plan. The trustees are confident this change will secure your benefits and keep the plan strong for years to come. Thanks for watching. Visit ncf.carpenters.fund to learn more.